The shadow of absolute evil. The shadow of absolute evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target. A dark elf named Talia. Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Dungeons 3 The Campaign! Yes, I've been given a preview copy of the game and been told I'm allowed to do whatever the hell I like with it as long as I don't give it a score! So we're just going to go in, first impressions, the first 10 campaign missions! Or several of them, because I played Dungeons 1, wasn't too big a fan, I liked Dungeons 2, let's see what Dungeons 3 does! So for those not sure... Oh. long, long time ago... The absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, <laughs> subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges? The occasional trick played on the little snots? There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. Not torn, A, B, C, D. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal. Yes! An unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east. Often found in sequels. A wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. Screw that ocean. It's a shock. That's a Morlock. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent. Left the harbor and sank. Huh. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with devious evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. Huh. So I like the annoying oh. evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the it's always the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. Excellent. So, I like the, the, um, the narrator. It's pretty cool. As you can tell, it's basically Dungeon Keeper with a sense of humour. It was talking about sequels or the fleets were dying. So if anyone remembers the first dungeons, it was like a evil play park. It wasn't the best game. The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Tristram, Tristram. with his comrades to see his foster daughter Talia. Tristram. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. I doubt it. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will... Grimly. Should anything trouble you? Can turn to him. 
Isn't that right, Grimly? I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. Grimly the dwarf. Also, Twistrum. Then Tristram is soon, from Diablo. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good is good. Yay! Is that a portal? Is there a yellow? Is there an orange on the other side? Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. Exactly. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the sun. Sheep! One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing. Kill them! Oh the god! Next moment, one. With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, oh god. a shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of the unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants with it. Animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. Ah, so, for those who aren't sure, you know, the first dungeon is like a um, evil playground area. You like you build attractions and you kill people. The second dungeons and the third dungeons is dungeon keeper with a different sense of humour. Those who aren't aware, dungeon keeper was a underground game where you fought the good and tried to take over the underworld. The difference between that one and this is Dungeons allows you to go to the overworld to go to war. In Dungeon Keeper you could not. So you can actually control your minions in the overworld but not in the underworld. Music's a bit different. I think I like Epic Evil more than Happy Friendler. So yeah, basically we're just doing the early missions. The shadow of the far off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men, and let the light of the goddess shine. Take those lanterns. Full of terrors. And there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod on it earlier. For the darkness. Project lead. I, I, I mean, for the, for the light. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in For the darkness, I well, like her. Yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature. But, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed. Was brightly lit. So I can. Luckily, there was an unfortunate oh. guard on patrol that the shadow was able to possess thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. So I can possess people who were in the uh, darkness. What was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, yeah. the shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. I'm not that powerful, Still, am I? It was long enough to get past the gate. So in this mission, obviously doing the first mission, we're going through all ten missions. The second mission. The shadow's target was close. Oh, so close. Talia, the dark elf. Soon uh. she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> so yeah, I played the first couple of missions. Obviously, we're playing through it again. The second one teaches you base building basics you, and friends. above ground combat. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big fatiguing square and library. join in the festivities. So yeah, the first this this literally I don't know. giving you the idea of the taste of the game and the commute and the commodore. Spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father, Thanos. You know, the mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. We'd love to come. Excellent. May the light of the goddess shine upon you, and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at the the, the, the light. I mean, dark elves are evil. Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors or th 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 something like that. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of plot in the first one. The second one, obviously, there's going to be mainly combat. But it's going to give you a taste of how the game is going. So you can get an idea of, if you like, the sense of humour from obviously this first mission. 
Obviously, in the second mission, I will also be showing you, you'll be seeing base building. Basic base building, but base building nonetheless. Because obviously, it's going to drip feed you uh, troops, drip feed you equipment and buildings and stuff like that. Oh, that was close. But yeah, we're in Tristram. Which, for those who grimly. For those who aren't sure, Stop it's from Diablo 3. Lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimly, King of the Dwarves, and I am used to the cold, dark tunnels under the mountains. I have no need of any stupid lamp shining into me eyes. Now I'm stuck with that damn pointy ear. I, I mean, uh, my good... In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. The fatiguing Heroes. library? With lanterns, began to stream uh -oh. in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have, if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. It's dark, you know. No one can see me. Programmer Emmanuel Shaw. So you can see this? The game has an interesting sense of humour. I don't know, I like mine more sarcastic and insulting, but we'll see. And in the name of my father, Thanos, I'm glad Thanos. to see so many of you here of your own free will. The words literally flowed. From Talia's mouth, as the masses listened to her with boredom, I mean excitement, <laughs> the gruesome evil's unseen shadow crept. Finally, sir, finally, the time had come, and the shadow of the passes in the slow. There we go. Get your first hero character. My father would be very proud were he with us today. He Orphanage. Would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage. It's attack me first. Orphanage and destroy it utterly, and all of you with it. If anyone's ever seen Looking for Group, Looking for Group, the orphanage attacked him first. It's it's canon. So yes, this is your first hero, or maybe your only hero. Who knows? Well, no, she's pretty powerful. Oh, it's over nine thousand. Oh my god, she's heat did she know she just damaged for leet. Nine thousand and leet. Yeah, the game has an interesting sense of humour. <laughs> There's one left? Oh, it's one there. Kill him. She got leeted! Screw them! The Dark Elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world. Kami Hami Ha! While screaming, <laughs> Kami Hami Ha! All of the references, yo! In the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Tanya to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone... Is that the orangutan? Um, that's the librarian from Discworld. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. The music might be a bit too powerful. The dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Tanya had already earned the title of Employee of the Month. Excellent. With the utter destruction of the fatiguing library, as well as half of Twist. Only half? We can do better. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the Millennium Wasting Evil's new favorite hench person. Memes! Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. So I skipped the um, story when I played to check it. The cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Excellent. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormwinds. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully what is that? to himself, with no inkling of his foster. Oh my God, it's Pete's dragon! 
Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat Anyway, we're going to skip the story now. Okay, Tristram in Ruin. So, yeah, we're going to skip the story to show you what the mission is. If you want to see more, obviously, you're going to have to um, buy the game. Because I want to show you what the actual mission is like. We've done enough of the story now. I mean, I may obviously carry on doing the story for the next mission, but it's obviously to show you the game, the first couple, and keep going. So it's a first impression. Look like the leftovers from a heavy metal concert. Oh God! What? What have I done? Oh no! I've fallen to evil again. Evil. Father will be beside himself. He was right when he said, "You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain." Villain. Oh, no. In a way, it yes. was fun. The game logic internalizing evil had given Talia an assignment. Out there on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I am evil. So now we're into how the game. The strategically well versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. So, as is always in this kind of game, to build, you literally just left-click on the ground and drag, and your imps, the snots, We'll dig it out for you. Obviously, gold stuff is gold. They'll drag gold to your dungeon heart or to a treasury. You hire minions, you build base things for minions. Let's have a look over here. So, as you can see, we have general rooms. Right now, it's just the treasury. You can also fill in corridors and demolish things. We have access to our army, which is just snotlings or snots. We can't recruit anyone yet. Oh. helpers had not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some research projects that Research of Evil could pursue. The new improved research menu, TM, was now available. TM, you got TM. So yeah, you research new things as always, and you also can send out troops to the main world. As you can see, on the left is the main world, and on the right is our base. To go out to the main world, you have to send out troops through the gate. The entrance. As you can see, this is my hand just wandering around, looking at where I'm going, because I am the shadow controlling things. So let's get some research going. The new improved research menu, TM, opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. So you yeah, now have access to the gobbler farm for food and the treasury. And if you go to the horde room, you have access to the hideout. The hideout is for our horde minions. If you go to our research, as you can see, there are three different areas. There's ice, fire, and horde. Right now, obviously, you just have access to the horde. The next mission, you will have access to the oops, spiders. So we're going to put down a treasury here, because this is an eternal piece of gold. And hopefully my little snodlings will start, you know, pumping out stuff for me. And as we get new troops, we'll obviously deal with that. So let's put you to here. So you can pick up your guys and drop them. That is the way to get them out of the dungeon, by the way. You drop them on the entrance. So there's a few minor inconveniences you have to deal with inside your base. And then, of course, you start building your evil lair. So let's get some layering going on. So yeah. We can go back to our research, we can actually have access to even more of the uh, snotling guys, the snots. The more snots the better, we can also have access to more creatures. And to bring in troops, after you've got access to them, as you can see here, we just hire them with money. At the moment we're too poor. But we can start hiring new troops once we actually get a base for them. Oops, didn't mean to pick you up, sorry, get back down there on the floor, I'll throw you. So you just need food, need somewhere to sleep, just need the usual stuff. And obviously in the first mission it's going to be pretty easy because we only have access to a couple of things. Let's get a hideout for them. As you can see, you put down the action, they start building it. Which is pretty damn cool. I like the idea that you build your own stuff. I love this kind of game. I like War for the Overworld. That's why I was very interested in getting a key for it. 
And I'm very glad they gave me a key. Like I say, I'm not going to make any of my opinions on how good the game is scored-wise known, but I am going to give you my first impressions whether I'm enjoying it or not. And obviously you can tell from what you're seeing if you like it. Now the difference between this game and Dungeon Keep and War for the Overworld is the fact that you have to physically pay for your new troops. You choose who comes and who goes. In stuff like War for the Overworld and Dungeon Keeper, you find a portal. In this one, you literally hire them out. Like that. And they spawn in front of you. So now I have three orcs wandering around the base. That's got a gobbler form for them to eat food. As you can see, they're getting some beds down. The beds are pretty... Orc beds are huge. We'll get some goblin beds too, don't worry. So we're going to send out our army and start dealing with the the base because we need some evil points and to get evil points we have to start getting some evilness and how do you do that well doing something evil of course let's just grab you and you you and you there we go let's get rid of them so i've dropped them near the entrance so we're going to just walk out and they're now on the surface everything good must die everything good must die we were here earlier as a ghost now we're going to be here as the murdering overlord I should not have gone through too much of the storyline. We lost a lot of time. Blinding oh. beams of light met the dauntless evil's creature. They briefly suspended us disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon. As is the case with other representatives of the genre. <laughs> Follow me, wow. Sons of I thought I was talking about the fact that the games did it. Yeah. The deeds of the conspicuous oh. evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind. Really? They sent out a small scout the area. Move out, men. Have a look around and report back to me. While I would love to accompany you myself, I'm currently. Um, Teaching myself to play the ukulele. Tanner really? Okay, so we need to build up an army. Gain is an evil place, which will be this thing over here. It's over here, actually. Okay, so that little slight bit of lagging you occasionally see isn't the game itself. I played the game, it does not do that. That is my recording software. So do not blame the game for the slight bit of stuttering you are seeing. The game runs extremely smoothly. Animations are smooth, game runs smooth. Yeah, that is my system doing weird things, actually. Don't know why, but there you go. Okay, we'll leave them to it. Let's get some more of this. We now need evil to get any more. Let's go in and grab some more goblins. God, they almost fell off the edge. The game has a very good style to it. I do like the art style. It works for what they're going with. Oh, God. Kill them! Kill the team! They're trying to find our base! Kill them! No witnesses, no survivors! So as you can see, you get a rough taste of how it feels. Obviously, there'll be an even bigger first impressions later when I have access to a later mission, which will obviously be played as a mission, and then played as a first impression. Sod it, why not? But yeah, we need to get some evil points going on. So let's do this. The armies of evil reach one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice cold man and the evil. There we go. Hold him back, we do too much damage. There we go. There we go. So now I have access to evil. And turned into a hotbed of evilness. See that evil. Formed on the surface and something. God. Evil rose from the dead. This evilness, in a practical, spherical form, was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah blah without any impact on the game aside, it was <laughs> another resource primarily or exclusively used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. New research was thus made available, 
which would help the dungeon to even greater power. The impatient evil immediately began to research something. Yeah, so now we have access to evil to actually do better research. Also, the thing I just, uh, got, the Naga, they are the primary healers of the Horde. But yeah, what I need now isn't, you know, better stuff, we just need some more creatures. So we get some more creatures, summon another Naga, get a second healer down, and then wipe out the above. But yeah, from now you must be able to have a rough idea what you're thinking. I personally enjoy this. Obviously I also play other Dungeon Keeper-like games, but yeah, this is fun. This little casual way. Let's do this. Because what I've always wanted the idea of is actually invading the world above. That's always been lacking in the other games. Like War for the Overworld is a War for the Overworld, but it's kind of not as well. Okay, we have healers. We have orcs. We have goblins. Roxmex, Isavid, Nisarasi. Oh! That's a point. Because of their names, they also had a character once called um, Miles Cyrus. Hey! Oh. Kill the cannon, kill the cannon, kill the cannon. There we go, kill the cannon. Bloody gunner. Advance and murder. Let's wipe out this camp. But yeah, that's how it works. To give them a fight, yeah, pretty cool, pretty awesome. There might also be skirmishing modes in here. Like I said, this is a review copy right now. I don't have access to the review copy, I've been told. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully fun. So I would like to see how this game looks. We already have access to the first ten missions. This is mission number two. Which means there should be quite a good number of missions in the game. But again, we'll have to see... Your life healing, you're getting all the hits. Thanos must die. Thanos. Oh, Thanos. That's a name you shouldn't be hearing. I mean, you still gotta wait for the Infinity War to happen. Come on. Let's get some more research going. Get my armor bigger. That's it, just one extra. Okay, fine. Another orc. It's payday. Get again pay, that's good. You have to wipe this out, get some more evil going on. Let's wipe out this. Oh! That's a patrol team. We'll have to deal with them later. Get them! Get them all! We may have just been found. Wipe out the base, then go back. We may have been found. We may have been found. But yeah, this is Dungeons 3. Pretty awesome. Damn it all. How did that happen? Time to call out the heavy guns. Right then, get ready to attack in waves. In waves? Uh, excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it make more sense if we attacked all at once? I Where's the fun in that? Either. Wave after wave. That's What's wrong with him? You been paid or something? Thanks to the enemy's limited Anyone? tactical finesse, their destruction was virtually unavoidable. So it was time to decorate for the victory celebration. To get the beer and hire the orc dancers. Okay, maybe not orcs. Is he being blind raged? <laughs> what are you doing? Be child's play. Leave them to me. Come on. I, uh, hold them back. Why are you upset Let them with me? You while I deal with them. Wait, what? Want to attack? Want to attack? That boy I ignored got into my base. Oh, you ignored going to my base. So, uh -oh. Vox Mons died. No, there was a quest off. Let anyone die. I think. I can't remember. The second island of the good was mercilessly overrun by the strategically savvy evil's hordes and turned Particularly into a evil Sa Sa savvy. Soon. More of that exquisite evilness would be bubbling to the surface. <laughs> so these people made his food and stuff. I don't know. They seem very upset Even about things. Better than in dungeons too. Not that right? I'm out to plug it or it's fantastic add or anything. I don't <laughs> do that. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Don't plug it. Okay, there's loads more of those. There's a healer. 
So my team has to get money and stuff. Have, entered the dungeon. have they? Are they in protest for food? They are. Okay, the people are hungry for food, they're just gonna starve, the I guess. Heart is being attacked. Oh good, they're back in the base again. Body. Okay, so if my troops pouring back in, I have some of my guys on strike. I know why they're on strike now. I never finished building it. Ah Get off. Okay, that's my fault. I didn't have enough of the little guys being spawned. We should have an access to more food. Yeah, it's my fault. Okay, they're no longer on strike. Oh, they're still on strike. There we go. They have food. They're no longer on strike. Okay, now I need to get all my people back in. So that's never happened before. That's new. Now that it happens, I'm going to be careful of that. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, my people get upset if you don't feed them. Who knew? There we go. The army is back in action. We should have food spawning. Yeah, we do have some eggs spawning. Good, 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 good. Let's get another one out over here. Who do you want to so this kill team is going to push in, wipe it out, and we're going to end the first mission. Second mission. Second mission, yes. Because Twist Room has died again. Demons again, like the first time. In the other game. Which we shall never mention, which was still pretty damn cool. Get them all. Oh god, half my team's on strike. Half my team's on strike. Oh god, retreat, retreat, Orlandok. Orlandok? Well, it was Orlandok Bloom. We'll never know. Kill him! One incompetent warrior on his way. We have more food yet. So yeah, if you don't have food, your people go on strike. So that's something to worry about. No, I never knew that was going to be a happen. That was never a thing last time I tried. Or maybe I was just better at the game. Who the hell knows? Anyway, we're going to wipe this team out, wipe that team out, and then end the episode. Which is a bit longer than usual. But there you go. Spiders need to wipe out for more stuff over there. Okay. Let's wipe them out. Bloody rogues. It's payday. At least we have money. Yeah, at least we have money, I guess. Uh oh. Orlandok, no! Kill them! Come on, Orlandok! There we go, come on. Come on. Everything good must die. Everything good must die. We don't like good here. Oh. Wipe it out. Don't wipe them out. There's a bridge over there. We can wipe out the leader, I guess. But who the hell cares? In fact, he's, he's more of a threat to them than I am. Victory is ours. Evil is victorious. Good thing I switched sides. And so it was, <laughs> the good camp was destroyed by the battle-wise evil's army. Now it was time to take over all of the good islands. But that would be a cakewalk. Easy as stealing candy from a baby. All the good islands. Good! Oh, evil! Evil! That's so evil of you. I don't think that's so good of you. It doesn't work. But that's so evil of you. We'll try. We might make a better phrase. Evil, evil excellence. 
Yeah, it works, I guess. Come on, let's go wipe this out and then call it an evil day. Okay, you guys all kill off the cannon and tie that cannon always hitting things. Come on. There we go, kill them all. Kill them all, let Zod sort them Fire out. And the destructive evil's army had succeeded in destroying Twistrum and the surrounding area. Excellent. Good. No longer existed in this land. Why? What the hell happened here? Um, apparently not quite all of the good guys were defeated. The dwarven king Grimly, an old drinking buddy of Thanos the Paladin, was just touring the country with his exorbitantly large army to ensure everything was in order. Oh, good! Thank God, the foresighted evil had provided for this contingency. The dungeon heart was charged with evilness and enough energy to act as a teleporter. For Talia, of course. No, my army! <laughs> No, my orcs! Can you dissipate and disappear to a far away and safe place? The rest of the sacrificing evil creatures looked astonished as their gentle head for them to remember, as they already found themselves facing an unpleasant. Excellent. So either way, I have been the Fallen Show because it's been Dungeons 3, the first two missions. I will of course be doing the rest of them. It will of course only be one mission a campaign, one mission a uh, episode, either way. Hopefully I've shown you something interesting with a bit of early access here going on. Bit of preview. And as always, first impressions. But either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. It's been Dungeons 3. If you always like, comment, share and subscribe. If you can't apply. If you like the series, I'll count for longer. So I'm a bit tired. And of course, if you subscribe, you do become part of Fallen. You do know new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. Shout out for now, people. Bye-bye.